Hi Leo, welcome to your general reading for the first half of October. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning, thank you for coming back. Please check the description box below for any and all information you need about me, personal readings, decks I'm using, social media, past Leo playlists, a lot of stuff there. Please do go check that out. Thank you to all my new subscribers, those who have reached out for personal readings, thank you, and those who have blessed me with an energy exchange, as in a tip or donation to the channel, is very much appreciated. All the support really does mean a lot to me, and it helps the channel out. Thank you so much for being a part of that. Okay, so this is for Leo, first half of October. And I just want to say, um, well, first of all, I hope everybody's doing well and going into the fall season. I'm decorated here already for Halloween, so happy early Halloween if you celebrate Halloween. And um, I've been thinking about adding a couple new um, readings to the channel. So I may only do one love connection a month and one general. And I'm thinking about adding a singles reading, you know, what may be coming towards you or who may be coming towards you. And then I'm thinking about also adding a uh, spirit messages reading, which would be mostly oracle cards. It'll be like messages from spirit to you, what you need to know for the month ahead or, or for uh, the time that you see it. So, okay, so I, this is for the first half of October. So whether or not I start adding those readings in October, um, this may be the only general reading for October. I'm not sure if I'll stop them October or November. So, okay, I already started the new batch of readings for the first half of October, and I've already said in them for the first half half of October. So, I don't know. We'll see. Just throwing it out there. Okay, for Leo, first half of October. This is a zodiac oracle. So, if you don't resonate with what comes out here, it can be sign, element, planet. That's totally fine. So what kind of energy could be around Leo, first half of October, just one card for Leo. Mars energy. Mars, which is, whoops, I'll drop my paper here. Mars is a Aries, I believe, yep. I'm not an astrologist, so I have to look at my papers. So, but I like to use these because it gives like a energy. And um, so, the main energy of Mars is competitiveness, assertion, aggression, courage, confidence, passion, and strength. So this is like just going. It's kind of like the Emperor energy, just kind of going after what you want. You see this image here. He looks like a warrior, like he's ready just to fight and go after what he wants here. Being very determined, courageous, and brave. So. It's all that energy. So let's see what's going on for Leo. Leo, first half of, well, this may only be October, first half of October. I don't know yet. I'll see. I may start the other readings in November or maybe this month. So we'll see. You can leave comments below if you like to get a general and a love connection. The same things twice a month. You can let me know, or if you'd like to see the two new readings I'm planning on doing, uh, you can let me know too in the description box. Okay, so what is going on with Leo? What is going on with Leo in October? What is going on? With, I will read this as a general reading, but if you could fit it into any situation in your life, whether it be a love situation or whatever, you're more than happy to do that. Leo, first half of October. There we go. And we have connect with your soul family. So this is people that you um, have a lot in common with. You share the same beliefs, the same morals. Here it could be um, a spiritual community, a religion community, someone that you do hobbies with, that you do, I mean, it could be anything. A soul family is somebody is a group that you really connect with on some sort of level through some sort of um, belief, practice, um, hobby, you know, whatever it is for you here. It says connect with that family. So if you've been out of touch with your soul tribe, your soul family, this is telling you to reconnect and 20 is two. And two is about partnership and coming together, unity, so. Let's see what the top one is. Well, the top one is stop. 
So <laughs> I don't know what that means. You have 34, which is seven. Seven is a divinely guided spiritual number. So something here uh, is just telling you to stop, take a breather, take a break. You know, there may be a bad habit. They may There may be uh, something you're doing that's not really healthy for you. Or I know it's just telling you to stop. Stop, take a minute, look around. All right, let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. We have blow off some steam. So this is 660, which is 6, is a very balanced healing number. So some of you need to get out, party, go out, go for a walk, exercise, maybe vent to a friend. Here, letting off steam in some way, shape, or form, whatever it is for you. It's like, stop what you're doing, blow off some steam, and you may be doing that with uh, some of your soul family here. <laughs> so that may be a message all into one there. All right. So Leo, let's see what's going on for Leo. Leo. Leo, you may be going after something like full speed ahead with that Mars energy, like being very determined and just like moving forward very, very quickly and you're not really taking time to stop and take a breather to connect, you know, with your friends, your family and maybe not even, you know, blow off steam. Maybe you're not even blowing off any steam. Maybe you're so focus driven on what you're doing moving forward because we have six, seven and eight. Mars is eight. So... And then 20 here, 2, 8 and 2 is 10. And 10s are about completions. And then 1 is a new beginning. Leo, you're 5 on here, so that is about change. So, hmm. You add all the cards together, the equals 6. That's about balance. So I feel like you need somehow to bring balance into your life. I think you're moving full speed ahead with something here and not really stopping to take time to... Okay, the Hermit just popped out, and now it's popping out again. So this is your main energy. So Virgo energy here. This is about stopping, reflecting, pausing, taking a minute, doing some inner journey work, soul searching, finding your way, your light. And this Virgo energy, Hermit, could just mean to slow down, take a break here, to just stop, stop for a minute, slow down, and take a break. There's no need to, because you see... Now that I see in here blow off some steam and I said full steam ahead, it's like you're going full steam ahead here. And it's like you need to just kind of slow down a little bit. Stop, hermit, slow down. You know, reconnect with family and friends. Maybe you've been out of the loop. Maybe you've been in solitary mode while you're like focused and driven on yourself moving forward. Do you see like this warrior here just like really focused on his intentions, what he's doing, him or her. But it's like they're both moving in the same direction here. You see that? This is the warrior, but then this slows down a little bit and slows the pace down. So I think you need to maybe slow down a little bit here. All right, so let's get more energy. And when I saw the hermit, spirits said take it, and I didn't, and then it flipped over in my hand, so... <laughs> Okay, that's what I get when I don't listen. Okay, so to the Empress. Yeah, you're really going after something here. Wow. You could be uh, in the world. Wow. So, and I had said all these numbers add up to 10, which is about a completion, new beginning. And the world is all about Earth energy here, about completions, going full circle, and then having a new beginning. And you have the Empress energy here, which could be, you know, maybe you're trying to be an entrepreneur or you're starting something new here, like a new life. And this Empress is uh, gives birth to new things. She's stable, grounded, passionate. Um, she has truth and clarity. She has love and emotions. It's a lot of growth, expansion with the Empress energy. Wow. It's a lot of, that's all major right there. Three major arcana right out of the gate here. The Hermit, the Empress, the world. It's like you thought about it, you knew what you wanted. And now you're in your Empress energy. And you're just going full steam ahead here. 
after what it is that you want. Closing out a cycle, starting a new cycle, and really being in your Empress energy. It's like you know what you want. You've thought about it. You've done that inner journey work, the soul searching. So funny. I watch one reader, and every time she gets to the world, she goes, boobies, and I don't know, it just makes me laugh. It's like boobies. I, I don't. I don't know why she points that out, but it's just funny. Okay, so uh, let's get more clarity here for Leo. More clarity here for Leo on this situation. Wow, and I had said balance here, and here's the balance coming out with the Six of Pentacles, Earth energy here, balance, equality here. So yeah. And I had said I felt like you need to balance yourself out. That you're going so full steam ahead, you're not taking time for yourself, not, you know, connecting with your family, friends, kind of energy. Page of Wands. So this is, you know, passionate communication, or it could be offer coming in, going out, something exciting, endeavor, project, opportunity here. So it could be an opportunity came into you here with the page of wands fire energy it's your energy leo sag aries it's like you see a lot of balance a lot of equality a lot of uh, balance in it moving forward so you're just like going full full steam ahead for this new cycle here all right so let's see let's see let's get your actual situation now for Leo, we got oh the six of cups and the chariots. One more for Leo, and the Queen of Swords. Wow, Queen of Swords always reminds me of divine energy. Or you could have um, air in your chart, or it could be an air sign around you who's very practical, who's very smart, wise, gives good advice. This could also be seeking um, legal advice, a legal counsel, expert advice, or something like that. Doesn't have to be legal um, in some way. Queen of Swords energy there. Um, but this also speaks of, you know, standing up for yourself, not taking any BS, uh, speaking the truth and clarity, having truth and clarity, uh, you know, cutting away things not serving. But then you get the chariot right in the middle of your spread. Cancer energy here. So again, moving <laughs> full steam ahead here with the chariot. Moving full steam ahead. Like going forward fearlessly, ferociously. Wanting your victory. This is victory balance. Being driven. Moving forward. Being, you know, brave and determined to get what you want. And we get the Six of Cups energy. So this could be something that you've wanted since childhood. This is childhood memories, nostalgia, uh, things from your past. You could be moving away from something from your past into something new. Or I'm just getting this is something maybe that you've wanted to do or a gift you've had for a very long time since childhood. And now you're moving forward fearlessly and... Um, like having a new beginning here, using those gifts or talent, whatever it is for you. That's water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have the Chariot now, Cancer, Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We've got four majors like right here, like creating a little um, spread like right here on their own. It's like you did the inner charity work, you know your Empress gifts and powers value. So you're ready for a new cycle here and you're just moving forward fearlessly. Wow. All right, so let's get a few more clarifiers for you. So we have the Seven of Cups, water energy again. And now we have the Hangman, Cancer Scorpio, Cancer Pisces, I mean. So this can be considered like many blessings. This also can be considered a lot of options, confusion, daydreamy kind of energy. Uh, you know, confusions, options, daydreaming, or just many blessings coming your way. But the hangman, again, is telling you, I think you need to slow down and take a break here and just kind of hang back for a while. Uh, just see things from all perspectives. You know, count your blessings here with the Seven of Cups. 
moving forward. I think definitely here uh, a need to slow your pace down just a little bit and just, you know, um, assess what you've done so far, where you're, where, you've going, where you're going, you know, assessing your situation with the hangman. Um, just hanging back for a while, taking a break. All right. So that was almost like your advice, but... Either that or your, you know, your, your situation is, you know, you've looked at all your options. You've looked at what there is out there and you thought about it with the hangman. And now that's why you're moving forward uh, fearlessly in this new direction. So let's get advice for you, Leo. We have the Page of Cups. So this is water energy. So this is communication or a message coming in. It's very uh, sincere, loving, um, can be apologies, you know, coming from a peaceful place here with the uh, Page of Cups. But now we get the Five of Cups, which is sorrow, sadness, loss, hurt. Huh. So I don't know. You got sadness, loss, and hurt, and then you have like an apology here. Maybe there's somebody you need to apologize to. Maybe, you know, your soul family, whoever you've been neglecting as you're moving forward because you're not taking any time for yourself, your friends, your family, and they're feeling lost, hurt, left out in the cold here. It's time to reconnect and apologize here and uh, get back in touch with these people or, you know, family, whatever it is for you. All right, so... Let's get two more to clarify your advice. It's too many. Oh, now we got the Ace of Cups. All right, one more for the advice for Leo to clarify. And the Ten of Wands. So, water energy here. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. That's a new beginning. A new loving, spiritual. It can be loving, spiritual. It can be uh, renewal. You know of friendships personal love alignment but ten of wands is an ending again laying down burdens uh no longer serving you so whatever burdensome energy you had in the past or whatever you went through here i do feel like because you have the world ending cycles new cycles and i had said right at the beginning all your cards equal 10 with the oracles and now here's the 10 wands laying down that burden no longer serving you and ready for your new beginning here with the Ace of Cups, something that you truly, truly love. It's divinely guided, blessing. It will bring you much happiness, joy, and fulfillment, and peace and harmony here with the Ace of Cups. So I definitely feel like here <laughs> you're releasing some burden and you're going after your happiness, your fulfillment, and your new beginning. That will be very peaceful, loving, It'll fulfill you in every single way. It's divinely guided. So whatever you're going for, only you know what that is. Whatever this new beginning is for you. It could be a new, with the Empress energy, definitely could be a new career opportunity. Of uh, being an entrepreneur. Uh, being like a um, CEO or like a high-ranking manager. Something like that. Or just owning your own business. Alright, so let's see what your outcome is. So... The message I'm getting is you're going full steam ahead. You, you've released burdens no longer serving you in the past, whether it was an old job, career, whatever. Lay those burdens down, ending that. But now you see you did the inner journey work. You know where you want to go, what you want to do. It could be something that you've wanted to do since childhood. Um, so you're just moving forward like nonstop. Like, like I said, full steam ahead. But I really think here Spirit wants you to slow down, take a break for yourself. Assess your situation, what you've accomplished, where you're going, and reconnect with your friends, your family. Blow off some steam. Go out, have some fun for a change. Ten of Cups. So, yeah, so this is happy home and family. So re reconnecting with those you love that bring you total fulfillment, happiness, and joy. And you will have this as your outcome moving forward anyway in your life. Happy, Total happiness and joy in your friend and family situation here in your life are your cups being full being totally fulfilled in every single way happiness and joy all right 
you know, whether usually, you know, the empress is usually a mother figure, uh, a wife. So, I mean, you could be married here for some of you. So you definitely do have happy home and family here as your outcome. So let's get a couple more clarifiers for that. Wow. So we have the high priestess and the ace of swords. So the high priestess energy here, Cancer Pisces, is an energy of knowing all the secrets, you know, faith, spirituality, listening to your gut, your intuition here, but you don't really say much. So I think you're keeping quiet, you know, with your friends, your family, and you're not saying much, you know, just kind of keeping to yourself as you're full steam ahead. But your outcome here is a new beginning. You know, I definitely feel like you are in the middle of a new beginning. You have two aces here of uh, being totally fulfilled and having truth, clarity, divine energy with the ace of swords, ace of victory. So I do feel like your outcome here is to not keep to yourself so much. And I had said that right from the beginning. The ace of swords is about communication, truth, clarity. It's also success, victory, standing up for yourself not backing down, not taking any BS, cutting away things not serving. But it's also a big epiphany, realization, open, honest, truthful communication. So you need to communicate and not keep to yourself too, so much and reconnect with those you love that you miss and reconnect with your soul family. All right, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Nine of swords. So you, you know, you may have stress, anxiety, worry, about, you know, if I stop what I'm doing, I may, you know, lose my mojo and, you know, things may backfire on me. So this is stress, worry, anxiety. So that's why, I mean, the Knight of Pentacles does move slow, but he's very successful. He's stable. He's grounded. You know, growth and abundance with Pentacle energy, Earth energy there. And now the King of Swords. So we got the King and Queen of Swords here. So you definitely could be married for some of you. But again, the King of Swords here, you know, open, honest, truthful communication, cutting away, not serving, um, truth and clarity, standing up for yourself kind of energy. Sometimes be careful, you know, can be kind of like a cold tongue, be careful over that energy. So now we have Death, Scorpio. So, I mean, ending a situation, but now transforming, rebirthing, regenerating into something new. And I definitely have that energy trying to hold on to your stability, your foundation here with the Four of Pentacle energy. Uh, let's see here. So yeah, I definitely feel like you've gone through an ending and a transformation, new beginning, coming out wiser, having truth and clarity, taking that sl steady, slow growth forward, but yet again, still moving st you know, full steam ahead. Having stress, worry, anxiety that if you stop, in this momentum forward, you may lose something, like it may it may slow down or something like that. But I don't think you have to worry here. Because you have the Ace of Victory, you have the Ace of Cups, Fulfillment, Victory. You know, this is Divine Energy also, with the truth and clarity of the matter, with the Ace of Swords, that you will have your victory, your happy happiness and joy moving forward. All right, so let's get some extra guidance for you, Leo, in this situation. Extra guidance messages for Leo. Okay, let's so we'll take these two. So we have cleaning house here, which is 7-3-10, which is about endings and new beginnings. So I definitely feel like you've cleaned away things here that were no longer serving you. You cleared the cutter, clutter <laughs> out of your life, you know, physically, mentally, you know, any way, shape, or form here. And just you've, you've cleaned house in all ways. And now you're moving forward in a new direction. And then you have sacred pool here, which is 74, which is 11, which is 2, which is about, you know, unity here. Sacred pool, so I'm not sure. I'm going to read, uh, that's number 47. I'm not sure what that means. I know water is a very healing um, energy. 
When you look into the mirror, do you like what you see? The sacred pool, cool, the sacred pool card asks that you focus on self-love and self-esteem. We are all works in progress, so a detached self-examination made with rigorous honesty is called for now. Reflect by the sacred pool and be at peace with yourself. Can you see how far you've come and how magical your life is? Do you notice the spark of the divine shining through your eyes when you're conscious that you're the embodiment of spirit it becomes easier to respect yourself and act in good conscience then you'll reap the greatest rewards your unique service to the world is not only needed but celebrated see the cast upon the waters it will return to you tenfold be at peace for you are beautiful and loved act with surety and confidence and success and success shall be yours whatever your inquiry so again taking a minute here to reflect upon you know what you've accomplished so far where you're going what you're doing assessing your situation so that's just clarifying everything i have just said here so let's see if there's any other messages for leo leo for october strength well there you are leo <laughs> strength 44 four is about the basis and foundation security stability and then eight is that action and movement. Eights are about taking some sort of action. Strength, courage, bravery, self-esteem, willpower, taming of the beast from within. Wow. So, yep, being courageous, strong, brave as you're moving forward. But I think you need to just stop, take a breather, reflect, reconnect. And then you have spark here at the bottom which is 34, which is seven, another divinely guided number. So you're divinely guided moving forward here as with the chariot energy, the ace of cup energy, um, the world, the empress energy, the ace of swords. You know, you got the six of pentacles for balance. And this might have been a spark of a new idea you had or have, and that's what you're moving forward in. Something here, a brand new spark in some way that's divinely guided for you moving forward. Okay, Leo, if this didn't resonate for you, you could check the description box below for past playlists. Maybe something there will resonate for you. I would say watch it anyway. Disregard the dates on them. I do consider them all timeless. Good luck to you here in your situation moving forward. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.